Hi guys, it's Chantelle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very short and sweet try on haul of two Opali dresses that I purchased for my birthday. So if you're interested in seeing what I bought and how they fit, please keep watching. So these are the two dresses that I bought. The first one is this pink one, which was meant to be my main birthday dress. It's just a mini extreme cowl neck long sleeved dress. It has this pretty high slit at the side that has rhinestones embellished around it, which was kind of what sold me on the dress. Can you see that properly? So I really love this dress. As soon as I opened the package and looked at it, I was like, yep, I think this is a bit too large, but we'll try it on first and see. And then I tried it on and I was right. Disclaimer, I have already tried on both dresses, so I already know what I'm going to be expecting. This isn't a surprise for me, but it will be very informative for you. So the second one is this cream off-white, kind of whimsical looking dress. It has an opened sleeve and it has cutouts on each side. It is a little bit shorter than I expected it to be. It has this v-neck cut at the front and then it has these two little thin straps. So I'm going away for a weekend for my birthday and this one was meant to be my like classy dinner dress. I would wear it with my new heels and this one would be a going out dress. I'm going to be trying both of them on with these shoes that I bought for my birthday. So far the only thing that turned out as expected, they're a little match and match knockoffs. <laughs> so I'm going to pop on this one first, show you guys how it fits. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about Opali and their sizing and what I was expecting and why I bought the size that I did. Here we have dress number one, the bubblegum pink dress. It has these little zippers on the sleeve. So if you want to open it, So if you want to open the sleeves and kind of wear it like that, you can do so. I personally wouldn't. I did love this dress so much, but it's too big. I got this in a UK 6, which is a US 2. And the reason I got it in this size is because the last Opali dress that I bought in a size US 0, UK 4, it was so small that I could not even get it past my hips. Like that's how small it was. So now going one size up and it being too big, I'm a little bit shocked. I don't know if you can really tell on camera that it's too big, but it's just very baggy. And like in person, it just looks really strange. I can't even get away with wearing it like this. Up here fits perfectly though, my shoulders. I would say my shoulders are a bit more on the broad side, so that's probably why up here is okay. And it has shoulder padding inside literally a shoulder pad. If it was one size down, it would be tighter and it would like fit better. Right here at the sleeve, it is very tight. So if I raise my arm, I can feel the entire dress like lifting and you feel that pressure underneath. So if I were to go down a size, I know that would definitely be a lot less room. This part right here, the main attraction of the dress, it's not as high as I thought it would be actually. And if I were to go down a size, then right here would hug up it better, which is the goal and just the back how it fits you can't it's such a nice dress i wouldn't want to ruin it by wearing it in the wrong size so opali doesn't exactly do exchanges you have to do a return and then get your refund and then purchase a new dress from scratch and i'm pretty sure that they don't do free returns anymore so that's fun i'll add a little message at the top whether or not they have free returns or not yeah, I really do love this dress, so I will 100% be exchanging it for the smaller size and hopefully that one fits well, but this is how it looks. Now I'll be trying on dress number two, AKA my backup dress. I'm gonna show you guys how this one fits. This is that once in a lifetime. So 
So this is dress number two and to be completely honest, I am extremely shocked by what my eyes are seeing in the mirror right now, by what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. Because I tried this on with a pink one yesterday after work, you know, I was looking ugly and gross after work, but I tried it on and my first thought was, this is the ugliest dress I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't believe it. The model looks so much better in the dress. Why does it look like this? And now I'm trying it on again and I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. Like, I actually like it today. So I have fresh eyes, it's a new day, and I have a new opinion. <laughs> this one is the exact same size. It's a UK 6 and a US 2. But as you can see, the way it fits is completely, completely different. Like this one was actually very tight, very difficult to get into. I'm actually scared that I'm gonna burst the straps because of my, as I was saying, broad shoulders. <laughs> it's very whimsical looking in hand. It is a lot shorter, but I don't, I remember it being shorter. So I'm happy it's not as short as I remembered, but it has these two little cutouts right here. Last night when I tried it on, I was thinking that looks so weird, like the cutouts at the side, but I don't really mind it that much today. So I don't know. The dress overall is looking much better today than it did yesterday. I actually think it's pretty nice. And maybe I will keep this one and just exchange the pink one. Guys, I don't know, like my entire opinion has changed. I was so ready to bash this dress. Can I speak? I was so ready to bash this dress. And now I'm looking and I'm like, I actually really like it. So it's crazy how the sizing is so different. Two dresses that are the same size, but one is way too big. And this one is borderline way too small. So yeah, just so you know, if you are planning on buying that pink one, definitely size down. If you're planning on buying this one, then you need to stay true to size or size up depending on how tight you want it so the material is thick but it's only one layer just a heads up so you can't wear anything underneath because it will definitely show um i really think this is more of a going out dress not a dinner dress because like i said it's very thin so as soon as you take that first spoonful of your dinner i really like how it really just shapes the body it's very nice and it's a unique looking dress you know it's a little bit different so i like that about it yeah i'm pretty excited about this dress now let me see how it would look with my birthday heels okay so i don't completely hate them together i think it's a cute look however I did really envision these shoes with the pink dress. I'm going to be keeping this one for sure. The pink one, I'm going to reorder it in the smaller size and hopefully it comes in time. But overall, I'm happy with this purchase. The pink one was great too, it's just the sizing was off. That was the only issue. Well guys, that concludes this haul. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you were planning on purchasing either of these Opali dresses, hopefully this video was informative and helped you with your decision making process. If you enjoyed it, Please remember to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.